Is Big Sam Presents Raw? I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw? I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw? I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw? I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw? I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw? I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw? I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw? I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw? I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw? I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw? I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw? I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw? I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw? I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw? I make this for you. Is Big Sam Presents Raw? I make this for you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. To Big Sal Presents. Hi, would you like to sponsor this show? You have the ability to sponsor Big Sam Presents Raw and or Shit Talk. I don't give a goddamn. You could pay me $100 a month or $50 a week or $250 every two weeks. Regardless, it don't even matter. If you want to sponsor this show, you can. Let me know. I'm Big Sam and you got the opportunity to sponsor this show. This show, God damn it, this one. Are you not entertained? Fuck you, because I wasn't trying to entertain you. Bye, bitches. You buy a bigger bed. You have more bedroom. Yes. In your bedroom. But at the same time, now you have less room in your bedroom. Because your bed is bigger. 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 You have more bed. But less bedroom. But at the same time, you, you have, have more room in your bed. You have more bedroom in your bedroom. But you have less bedroom. Room. Because now the bed is bigger. Fuck. Isn't that concerning? You buy a bigger bed. Well, well, well. Welcome back to another episode of Big Sam Presents Raw. Huh? <clears throat> I'm going to try something a little bit more on the different. I got an actual topic on today, y'all, and something to talk about. We'll see what happens if I stay focused in this motherfucker. I don't know. Ain't looking too good for the whole team. Nevertheless, though, let me turn my headphones up so I can hear myself better. Oh, there you go. Listen to the timbre of my voice. (laughs) Well... I went to Cartagena Beach. It is a beach on the fuck <laughs> northern western coast or north coast of Colombia, whatever, I don't know. It's north of here. Yes, yeah, north of here. It's, it's like due north of here if I ain't mistaken. And uh Cartagena Beach. C A R T A G E N A. Cartagena, Cartagena, I don't know, Cartagena Beach. So, uh, the idea, first of all, God damn it, this is all bullshit. <laughs> I don't know how or why, but. Yeah, like how that sound. Ain't that annoying? I don't know why, but I done built up this goddamn what the hell? Damn near addiction to um 
What's this shit called? Oreos. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I gotta find me some double stuff Oreos. Oh, shit. Mm. I'm doing well. I don't need all this goddamn sugar. I met up with my partner. As soon as I landed, I was walking through the airport trying to get um, an Uber to go to my hotel. I knew the hotel was close, but I just didn't feel like walking. And I also knew that the taxis was going to be taxing. And so uh, I took the guy. Um, no, what am I talking about? I was walking through the airport, and then um, I'm not sure. I can't remember if we were texting or what. Maybe we were texting each other. Like, hey, bro, I just landed. And he was saying he there. He was um, waiting on his bags or whatever. And um, I walked around the corner, and then boom, there go this motherfucker. I was like, all right, shit, cool. So we linked up, and um, we went around. I had to get my get right. So we took a taxi and uh, to get some smoke. And then uh, that was a clusterfuck. It's crazy, man. In Cartagena, it's it's like the only thing them people want is to get as much American dollars as they can from you, man. The and it's it's fucking annoying. Like I don't understand how you can go there for a vacation when you're just harassed just constantly harassed for money either somebody begging for some fucking money or the services that they they're offering they just they want way too much just entirely too much it don't make no damn sense now I get that when the white boys and the crackers come down here they don't care. They come down to spend money. I get that. But god damn. Like for real. Shit. That shit is annoying. But we went looking for some weed. And uh, the dude was giving me the run around. Talking about his friend said they ain't got none and we got to go around this corner and all this other shit. And I was like, man, take me to the hotel. I said, take me to the hotel, bro. And so they um, they took me to the hotel and I had to use the Google Translator. Quantos pe- pesos? Uh, how many pesos? That motherfucker said fifty dollars. You give me fifty U.S. dollar. I said what? Fifty dollars? He said yeah, ride right around weed. That, that wasn't no fifty dollar goddamn ride. I don't give a goddamn. We ain't go but got maybe three miles all together. That ain't no fifty dollar ride, bitch. I told him hell no. Nah. He said, okay, $30. You know what I gave that bitch? 30,000 pesos and walked off. Man, you watch your damn rabbit mind. You ain't finna hustle me like that, bro. $50 and we ain't even go three miles? Come on, man. You had me sitting waiting for 30 minutes for nothing for your little homeboy to come up with nothing. 
waited 30 minutes, man, sitting. I told the dude after about 10 minutes, I said, hey, bro, hotel. He said, no, no, moment, moment, moment. And 30 minutes, the dude pulled up and talking about he ain't had none. You wasting my fucking time. Take me back to the hotel. Back to the hotel. Get to the hotel, whatever. So I gave the man 30,000 pesos and walked off. Then the dude with the weed, I checked in my hotel. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, my goodness. That was horrible. Let me look at my notes. Um, I don't think I want to follow these notes because it's not the way I remember this shit. I mean, I see everything, but I guess I just freestyle it. Whatever. The hotel that I rented was in front of the beach. There was a highway, and then there's the beach. But it was not on the beach. As well as, there was no stores around that motherfucker. Uh, that's a lie. That is a lie. The building next to us had an ex- ex- exito, exito, but it was like the, the Columbia's smallest exito. I ain't never seen an Exito that damn small the whole time I've been in Columbia. Not to say that I've been all through that damn Columbia or whatever. But God damn, that shit was small. That shit was tiny. Look here. Tiny. Like three aisles. Tiny. All the Exitos I've gone to, they got motorcycles in them bitches and big screen TVs and shit except for the one right up here but where I'm at but they got an upstairs and a little meat area and a deli that you can sit down and eat and shit Um, I mean it's still a nice size because they they do got a little meat section in that exit but this one oh my goodness and then everything closed so damn early whoo child so my homeboy he was staying down in the tourist area he was on the beach. I think he was like near the Hilton or some shit like that. Um, and uh, so the dude that we were supposed to have met to get the weed, he pulled up to the hotel. My friend, my friend, my friend, smoke exotica, exotica. I get in a little taxi. It's two, of the, two of these dudes, right? My homeboy, he nervous as a motherfucker, but he stayed in over there on the over there by the uh, hotel. I ain't gonna say nervous, but you know he's a little concerned because you know what I'm saying this ain't really his world or whatever. It is not that it is my world. I'm a square. Anywho, get in this damn seat and the dude pull out a bag, ten grams, ten grams, ten grams. Very good. I said, hold on, hold on. That motherfucker said 200 U.S. dollars for 10 grams. I said, what? 200 USD? Oh, hell no. Nah. And I got out the, the, the car and walked off. And Carl's like, what happened? I said, I ain't buying that shit. That man talking about $200 for 10 grams. Man, fuck you. Man, bro, 10 grams? Man, that's like goddamn $20. You know what I'm saying? That's like a hundred thousand pesos, a hundred million pesos, whatever you call it. The the largest bill they got, you give them that motherfucker, and you can get ten grams. You can get ten blunts with that shit. And so uh, the dude come back. He said, "My friend, my friend, come, come, come. Let's 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 come, come, come." And my boy was like, "Man, he wanted he wanted to negotiate with you, man. He wanted to negotiate." So I go back in the car, and the dude was like. Seven grams, seven grams. I said, wait, motherfucker, you said it was ten. No, 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 seven, seven grams. Very good, very good. You try, you try, very good. So he got this little joint that they smoking. That shit was trash. That motherfucker said, $200, seven grams. I said, hell nah. I said, bro, I live in Medellin, Medellin. Yes, I and I had to pull out my phone. I live in Medellin, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't pay these prices. And do say, well, well, what you pay? I said seven grand. I give you two hundred thousand pesos. 
Okay, 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 okay. Gave that bitch 200,000 pesos, man. I still overpaid. I mean, I ain't even gonna lie. I still overpaid. But at the same time, seven grams for $20. Come on, man. God damn. Shout it. In America, uh, some good ass, some fire fire smoke gonna be about 15 a G. You know, that's, you know, that's guaranteed it's gonna smoke. You gonna be about 15. If you paying a dub in America for smoke, you just you want some other stuff like you want you 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 going to a cat that ain't getting a lot of foot traffic. You not finna be exposed to the law. You know what I'm saying? You that's on some safe safe shit. But when you paying ten dollars, then you in the hood. God damn it, you fucking with a hood nigga. And you know that, that's what you want. You know what I'm saying? But. <clears throat> Nevertheless, though, so I got me some smoke, but then I fucked up. All the stores was closed. I didn't have no papers, nothing to wrap it with, and I don't, I don't like smoking in uh, white papers, man. Them shits burn too fast, and then it's like it's too sticky, and it's just not, eh, it's just not a good experience. I like to uh, roll my blunts myself. And wraps, I do not like tobacco products. You will not catch me rolling my marijuana in tobacco products. Nope. I don't use tobacco leaves. None of that shit. I don't like the taste of tobacco. So what I ended up having to do was... I hit my homeboy up. I was like, hey, man, you got stores around there? He called me. He was like, God. And, you know, he talking and just explaining the view and blah, 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 making me all depressed and shit. I, I'm sitting on my balcony and I'm looking at the ocean and that motherfucker black. Huh? <laughs> that shit black. Ain't no lights in this motherfucker. Ain't nothing around ya. I think I went where the people that the locals that retire and shit. They they on that side of the piece. That's where I was at. He down there where they got the damn circus and you know the people with the fire and the juggling and 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 and, and the jet skis and the and the octopuses and the, the mermaids and the sea world and all of that shit. The touristy shit. So I said, Hey man, hey man, what's your uh, hotel address, bro? And I ain't trying to come to your room, man. I'm just trying to get in that vicinity so I can see. Because he said all the stores was open where he at. And it was a whole bunch of stores. Bunch of stores, restaurants, bars, blah, blah, blah. Woo, woo, woo. So I was like, oh, yeah, give me that shit. So I got into the, uh, I got me an Uber. Man, that shit took so damn long. Oh, my goodness, it took so long to get the Uber. But anyway, so I get down there. And I'm walking around, and I'm weird as hell. Man, I'm weird as hell. For some reason, I get nervous about weird shit, and then I get over arrogant about very dumb shit. But um, I'm walking around trying to find what I'm looking for. I'm going to the different stores, and I'm pulling up a picture of the wraps on my phone. None of the stores got it and shit, so it was some uh, cat sitting outside of a bar. And they was smoking. I was like, "Hombre," I said, "Where?" And he said, "You need, you need." I said, "Please, por favor." He said, "Follow me, follow me, come, come." And uh, we walked up the block or whatever. And while we walking, I had turned. I'm looking just to make sure you know people ain't following me and shit, and getting familiar with my surroundings and stuff. And it's it's a bitch across the street. She a little thick. Don't get the game twisted. She a little thick, but she got prostitute vibes. She ain't got no bra on. She wearing some old busted ass slides and shit. And um, her dress thing was like very, very thin, see through. Um, her makeup was busted, and uh, I mean she wasn't like ugly, but she wasn't no damn. Maybe 
No, no, it wasn't nothing like that at all. And so she, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> when I turned and I looked, did you say a cat was barking? Uh, I don't remember saying that, but um, thank you for distracting the show. Um, okay, we got people in the comments. This is a live broadcast, if you did not know. Oh, my goddamn podcast are broadcasted live. So if you subscribe to me on Spreaker Radio, then you will be notified when I go live and you can engage in the show. Just don't be no goddamn distraction like this motherfucker is over here. Huh? Come on, somebody. I done lost completely forgot what the hell I was goddamn talking about. Look, I done went through this whole goddamn show. I wasn't doing nan question until this motherfucker done came up on yonder. Man, I wish I could smoke a blunt in it. Ain't that I can't. I'm just not going to. All right, let me get back, folks. So that bitch was like, <laughs> they, that chick, uh, the prostitute was like, uh, uh, what she say? Psst, psst. Services? Serv- you need services? You need services? My time good. My time good. Psst, psst, psst. Mister. Psst, 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 psst. Mister. And I'm just walking. And I'm trying my hardest not to laugh. Because <laughs> that shit was so funny. I was like, what the fuck is going on? What is really going on? You're Seeing me from across the street asking me if I need services and now you're walking across the street not aggressively but still maintaining a particular distance and going psst, 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 mister mister services services psst, services psst, 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 me good times Services, Mr. 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 Me or more. Man, you don't get your goddamn ass out of my face. You were talking about the girl with the busted slides, flip flops. Yeah, but I don't remember you talking about nobody was barking though. But I'm trying to stay focused on what the fuck I'm talking about now, goddammit. Huh? Shit. So, um, I followed this dude up the road, and then I seen another chick. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This girl had to weigh about 96 pounds soaking wet. I'm like, if you don't get your ass in these restaurants and eat, bitch, <laughs> you don't need to be walking up and down the streets doing more exercises. You need to be satting your ass down now. And eating. Get some meat on them damn bones, bitch. Your damn arteries is showing across the street. Oh, what is. Oh, Lord, these people down here in Cartagena, Colombia. And then they just ask you, uh, Senor, give me, give me, give me $5. Give me $5. What? I mean, now that's some bold shit. You just tell about you demanding five dollars. You know, most people in America, hey man, you got a couple couple dollars, man. You got a couple dollars you can spare me, man. Let me, let me get a little bit of change. You know what I mean? I feel a little hard time. Let me get a little bit of change. These motherfucker, five dollar. You give me five dollar. You give me what? Bitch, who are you talking to? I tell you what, you come take it out of my, my pocket, bitch. That's what you goddamn do. But you know what? Let me uh now that I'm thinking about that I did tell that motherfucker that. I got to figure out a way to get that energy out of my mind. I don't want to be attracting violence and confrontations and things of that nature. And I'm a lover or a protector, but I'm not a fighter. You know what I'm saying? I do my best to protect, but I'm not, I don't want to be going around instigating shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we get on around the way and we find the uh, raps. So I told him, yeah, man, let me get four raps, bro. Something told me to get five. And my dumb ass only got four. But um, 
So I get a Uber back to the hotel. By this time, my goddamn feet white. My feet white. But I had got the new shoes from my, my partner. He brought me some new shoes. So I went on ahead and swapped them out. But the way that the the uh the ground is out here is so uneven and you walking on these uneven rocks, it just it just destroyed my feet. <laughs> Oh, my feet was in so much pain. So anyway, I, I get in my room. Oh my goodness, that hotel was trash. The Wi-Fi just—it it will not work for more than about ten minutes at a time, and then it will shut down for about uh, thirty minutes to an hour or so, and then it'll come back up for about five minutes, and then and, you know it's just pathetic. Um, the room. The room was very secure as relates to as far as uh, there was no security. <laughs> you know, it's, you just walk in that motherfucker and go, boom, go upstairs and point your key to the door, open it up, boom, you're in there. Put the key in this little thing in the wall and it turns on the AC and the lights and shit. So turn the room on. Took me a minute to figure it out, but I finally figured it out. I said, okay, this ain't that that bad. I'm looking around this goddamn room. Ain't no damn microwave in here. What? How the hell is this a hotel with no microwave? So then I just realized, man, I'm spoiled in America. In America, you got all the amenities. You have an abundance of choices. Oh, Shebeko. You go to the grocery store in America, right? Hold on first. Let me back up. You go to Exito in Colombia, Medellin. And you go to the drink section where the sodas and shit is. They got Coca-Cola, Sprite, uh, I forgot the name of that other shit. It's some red shit. And then they got this other red shit. Damn, hold on. Man, I forgot the name of them bottles. But they don't got many options. They, uh, when I say they ain't got many options, you got Coca-Cola, Sprite, <laughs> that's it. Ain't no fucking Pepsi, no Mountain Dew, ain't no Cherry Coca Cola, ain't no uh uh what's that shit called? Crush, ain't no Orange Crush, ain't no Fanta, no Shasta, ain't no goddamn Fago out this motherfucker, ain't no Minute Maid, ain't no goddamn uh you know what I'm saying. <laughs> ain't no variety there is no variety oh my goodness the potato chips the flavor of the potato chips is atrocious oh you think you're buying a bag of doritos i don't know what them shits is matter of fact that's what i ought to do i ought to ask my partner to bring a couple bags of chips. Wait a minute. Maybe I can get some chips mailed to me. And then I can um I can invite um Shaw to do wop over and just show him like look which one do you think has the better flavor? And put it in a bowl. And don't even show her the bags. And just do like an experiment. <laughs> I mean, goddamn. It's just different, man. It's just so different, man. I I really do miss the variety um, and the abundance that I had in America. And I ain't even have much. <laughs> and the little bit that I had, oh my goodness. It is, it is considered abundance out here. Like having a fucking oven. Oh my goodness. You know how hard it is? To find a place in this entire town with an oven? That's not part of their culture out here. It's crazy. Um, but it's cool. I mean, I ain't, I ain't like tripping off of it. It's just different. Everything is different. And my mind is like, Really, really robotic. 
computeristic to an extent. Once I'm programmed, I don't really deviate from my program. Not really. So, I know at my house, I can bake me some bacon every morning. And then I got my deep fryer. I got my grill with my charcoal. And I can grill every week. I got my crock pot in case I need to make me some chicken and rice or some neck bones. I can't do that shit down here. Ain't got no damn grill. They grill with gas. They cook with gas down here. I don't want no gas grilled ribs. Um, I need that charcoal flavor. Hmm? Something about that charcoal that good natural barbecue flavor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my goodness, the bacon. Finding good bacon has, been, has become a struggle. I used to have a spot that I just can't remember which Exito it is. I'm not sure if it's. I'm not sure. The last two places I went. To get the bacon that I thought was bacon, it was not bacon. It was sliced and packaged and looked like bacon. But when I cooked it, I don't know what that shit was. (laughs) Salami or some shit, I don't know. Anywho, I sat on the balcony. And that damn breeze was just, wow. It was so relaxing. I put my feet up, leaned back, and held a nice, good, strong puff of smoke. Held it in for about 10, 12 seconds. Slowly exhaled and looked out in the ocean. That motherfucker was black. (laughs) <laughs> that motherfucking beach was black as a bitch. I said, God damn. But it was relaxing. The worst, 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 worst part about sitting out and enjoying the breeze of the ocean. Coming off the ocean, excuse me. The absolute worst part about it was getting towed up by the mosquitoes or as my home, my, my uh, local home girl would say, the little animals, the little animals, they like you. <laughs> the little animals like you. <laughs> they call mosquitoes little animals. We call them bugs or mosquitoes. Other than that, it was cool. And then I just smoked and smoked. I played my game, boosted a lot of my accounts on my game. And then, um, Oh, shit. Speaking of my game, it crashed. And I chilled that first night. No. I ended up downloading Rappy. And, um, learned how to use Rappy. And ordered some chicken wings at like 12.30 at night. I said, oh, shit. We can't do that in America. Not well, not in my city. Ain't no goddamn Uber Eats. <laughs> Delivering nowhere in the hood after no damn 11 30, 11 o'clock. Shit. You a lie. All the stores be closed at that time. So uh, that was kind of cool being able to get something to eat. Now the food wasn't all that great. And, um, 
I kind of I, I I forced myself to finish it that night because I knew I ain't had no damn microwave to warm my shit up the next day. But yeah, um, ah uh, shit, I'm not sure what. Oh uh, man, I think I fucked up. Uh, two wings so then the next day what I do the next day the goal was to go shopping I figured I assume listen to all the hype about how big Cartagena is a tourist area da, 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 woo, woo, woo. so I went into the city thinking I'm finna go to the mall find some clothes Man, I went to the damn mall. They had less options than... I said, man, ain't this some shit? And they said, nowhere has 2XL. And all honesty, I done got so fat now, I'm like a 3XL eating all these damn Oreos and KFC chicken wings. (laughs) Whew, I done put on some weight. So, I didn't get any clothes. Couldn't find no clothes that fit. But I did get my shoes. That was a good thing. And all that walking around, I ended up making all my clothes sweaty and musty. So, um, I was really insecure about going out. I didn't want to be going out. Even though I took a bath, I'm putting on dirty, musty clothes. That ain't how I roll. And I really didn't want to go out, especially Friday night. I just didn't want to. By the time I got my smoke and was finally able to smoke, I was like, man, fuck that. And the next night, I didn't have no intentions on it. Well, I kind of wanted to go out, but at the same time, I really wanted to watch the fight. And I was going to go back to the main area to go watch the fight. However, I didn't. (laughs) And I ended up staying at the hotel, smoking, playing my game. And that's pretty much what I did the whole weekend. Stayed at the hotel, smoked, played my game. Every once in a while, at least once a day, I would go down to the main beach, uh, beach area, tourist area, and walk around. Man, there was so many goddamn people out there. And I wanted to um, eat some seafood. I was trying to find me some fried fish and shrimp, but... None of the restaurants had any appealing fried fish and shrimp. So, I just had chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. And when the exito opened up, I went and got some fruit. I sat on my balcony. Looked over the ocean during the daytime. Smoked. Went down, walked. Hold on. Smoke some more. I was trying to find some water shoes. And that was not successful. I refused to go jet skiing in my shoes. And I can't walk around barefooted. My my feet are too fucked up for that. So I did not do the jet skis. I didn't do no activities. I sat on my balcony. I walked. Sat and I walked. Sat and I walked. I watched some uh, kids play soccer on a dirt field and a dude and a girl argue and assault assault each other. And they was living in these shacks. When I say shacks, like shacks, like just thin pieces of metal barely nailed on each other on the side of the fucking football field. The poverty. Oh my goodness. I mean, yeah, I had 
I guess compassion, but at the same time, it's like, damn, you motherfuckers sit on TikTok all fucking day, and you ain't doing no kind of education, no kind of inspiration to do better. You just sitting there just getting brainwashed by the Chinese government through TikTok. It's crazy. All this shit going on in the world and you just sitting there watching TikTok all fucking day. This shit crazy, man. This shit wild. This shit is wild. But anywho. Um, I don't even know why I brought that shit up. <laughs> but I sat there and watched them for about like almost two hours. And I smoked. And then I seen this woman feed like seven dogs. I'm like, what the fuck? This place is just crazy. This is wild, son. I feel wild. She has seven dogs that she fed. And she went inside of one of them little hut things. And I didn't see her because I left. I don't know how long after that, but I left. I'm like, how the hell is you taking care of seven fucking dogs living in this shit? I don't get it. I just don't get it. People do not want to do better. And or the oppression that this government has put on its people not even exposing them to better options and like when you look at the infrastructure it's like it it almost looks like this is where architectures came to practice building their prisons before they brought them to America cuz all these fucking apartments look like big ass prisons like huge ass prisons. I mean, they got so many skyscraping apartments, thirty something floors, apartments and condos and shit. But when you go in them and you really, really look at them, they built like the penitentiary system, man. They're very small. They're very. I mean, the minimum, absolute minimum. That you can have in life is what you're gonna get. Man, shit is crazy, man. I was, uh, I made a post on, um, uh, what do you call it, a status update on WhatsApp. And someone commented on my status and telling me I need to stop complaining and be grateful to God because life is a gift from God. And I need to thank God every day for my gift. I started to say, fuck you, bitch, and your pussy ass goddamn God. Tell your God to come knock on my motherfucking door so I can walk that bitch up the stairs and skull fuck that motherfucker before I decapitate it. Fuck your goddamn ragged ass God. Your God ain't got no fucking power. That pussy punk bitch. But I didn't do all that. <laughs> I just ignored the bitch. Whatever, motherfucker. You can't tell me shit about appreciating life and thanking God and being humble and all this other Fuck being humble. I'm not no goddamn humble nigga. I ain't got no goddamn humility. Fuck being humble. I'm arrogant. I'm cocky. I worked hard to get to where I'm at, even though I'm in a goddamn slump. Even though I'm in a motherfucking depression, I put some years in that is allowing me to have a nice cushion, even in the midst, or in the midst of my depression, I have provided a cushion. That shit ain't had nothing to do with your goddamn God, motherfucker. Po ass knuckle. I'm tired.
talk about that shit, man. Who the hell you think you talking to, motherfucker? And they gonna have the audacity talking about so I'm a single mother. I need food. Can you help me? No, bitch. You better ask God. <laughs> ain't you? You went you to being grateful. You ain't gave your greatness to to your God so He can give you some food, bitch. No, you over here, goddamn judging me. Talking about I'm complaining just because I'm up here expressing the experiences that I'm having here. It's not complaining when I'm just sharing my goddamn experiences. If you rude motherfuckers wasn't so rude, I wouldn't be sharing these goddamn experiences. Huh? Come on, somebody. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Let me calm down. Oh, Lord, we got some more distractions, y'all. That's what they call sex in Colombia services. I guess so. I guess. Well, in uh, Cartagena, the street walking whores. Now, you can go into a spa and it's just way different. It's just very, it's professional. Well, to the Colombian standard of professionalism. It's more formal, I guess you would say, yeah. They treat them foes like roaches. Okay, we have um, um, some ghetto-ness in the comment section on today. But Jesus paid it all for you, Big Sam. Fuck Jesus, that goddamn long-haired, blue-eyed bitch. Anyway, um... Yeah, that motherfucker talking about somebody need to be grateful for life and all this other shit. Uh, let me tell you something, bitch. You don't know. It's all good. She don't mean no. She don't mean no harm. She mean well. She good people. She good people. Like Bernie Mac, Mac said, she good people. She good people. She good people. She mean well. I understand where she coming from because she ain't got shit and she's struggling like a motherfucker and every month she facing eviction and shit like that. Um, and then, so I get where she coming from, but uh, baby, I'm cool. I'm good. Granted, I am not good with my money and I don't save good and I spend like a wild man. But I'm, I'm pretty straight as it relates to uh, being able to provide for myself. I'm pretty good on that. You know, I was thinking about that as well. Um, I have an interest in some working opportunities. I hope I might be able to get. <clears throat> the music is, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm in such a funk. I don't know if I don't even want to try music anymore. I ain't gonna say I don't want to try. I don't know if I don't, if I want to try to learn and I can't even speak this fucking language. But then again, I guess if I play the drums, then I really don't need. They don't even really need to tell me shit. No, nah, that's not true. Um, I don't know. Matter of fact, I probably should go to uh that one music place today and see why the fuck we ain't had our lessons yet. Oh, and I need to get that thing to file my foot down. I got this damn bunion I'm growing about my foot. If I keep my feet filed, then my shit don't be hurting as bad. That's part of the, the thing I got to do. You know what I'm saying? Take back hurt myself. But uh, I really done lost all my train of thought talking about uh, Cartagena. Oh, and then... um. Dude that helped me get the raps... I got his number, and so I hit him up Sunday because I had ran out of smoke, and it was like Sunday morning, like 2 in the morning. I was like, oh, my God, I don't have no more weed. I started panicking. Like, I was having like a mini panic attack. I wanted to go to sleep, but I ain't had no fucking smoke, you know? And uh, I hit him up, and then um, he was like, yeah, in the morning, I'll bring you some. Buddy brought me some smoke. Brought me some rap sounds like cool. I ain't spend that money this weekend, so I go. I went ahead and shot him a cool hundred million. Damn, I mean a hundred thousand, whatever. Boom, here you go. That's your tip. 
He said, muchas gracias. Now, he was a cool motherfucker. He wasn't one of them aggressively trying to get me for all my paper type dudes. So that's why I ain't had no problem. You know, man, he go for looking out for me. You know what I'm saying? The show, whatever, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, this shit done. At the rate deposit is coming in, young man. Man, these spam text messages. Um. So then Sunday. No, Saturday I went down to the bar for the breakfast. And I decided, yeah, let me get the American breakfast. Oh, my goodness. That shit was horrible. Oh, that shit was so disgusting. When I tell you, you can tell white people made that menu. No flavor. Those was the worst tasting eggs. I've had eggs in the hospital, the powdered eggs in the hospital. And they tasted better than that Western nasty ass omelet that they served in that hotel. Ooh, and them juices. Oh my gosh, they juice taste like fruit piss. <laughs> it's so bitter and nasty. Yuck. Like, how are y'all drinking this shit? But my taste buds are just used to sugar. I'm a sugar motherfucker, I guess. I just like my juice is really, really sweet. Pineapple. Orange. Apple juice. Dole pineapple orange apple juice is some of the best juice in the morning. As well as Kroger brand orange juice. <gasps> Holy. Holy. And then at the uh the family dollar up the, the street from the, my old place, they got this apple juice. I think it's like Donald Duck juice or some shit. I don't know. I know what that shit look like, but man, when that shit cold, whoo, it's like drinking heaven. Horabaka city make up. Yes, I know it is So then um, when I went to uh, the airport to leave, um, I said, well, fuck it. Let me buy some airport food. Ugh, that shit was horrible. Um, <laughs> I assumed it was like the Medellin airport where you had like options and shit, but no, nah, it wasn't. So I uh, got there about an hour or so before the flight started boarding. And then I was getting ready to get on a plane. And I didn't have a mask. And they said, you cannot get on a plane without that mask. I said, God damn. And I turned to get to go find a mask. And a bitch pulled out a mask out of her bag. <laughs> I said, Mojo's glasses, Mojo's glasses. I ain't get that bitch no money. I turned my fucking ass around and walked off. Thank you, bitch. I don't even know what she looked like. I should have gave her some dick. <laughs> I'm just bullshit. I wasn't going to fuck that bitch. God damn it. <laughs> but I was appreciative. Look, bitch, I don't know your name. That's why I'm calling you bitch. Because, bitch, I don't know you. All right? So, listen here, bitch. If you are listening to this and you the bitch that gave me the mask in the goddamn airport, bitch, so I can get on the plane, bitch, thank you, bitch. I appreciate you, bitch, because I ain't had to spend no money, bitch, and I didn't miss my flight, bitch. So thank you for being a good Samaritan, bitch. <clears throat> Reach out to me and tell me your name, bitch. <laughs> no. Airport airport food is not extremely pricey when you are not in America. In South America, nothing is pricey, pretty much. 
I ain't gonna say nothing because the street people they price is a motherfucker. But you can get a big bag, um, or or a whopper. Was it a double whopper with bacon and shit for about meal for about seven dollars? In America, that shit gonna be about fifteen twenty dollars. But now the prices, I mean, it's a little high, but it's still so fucking cheap that you ain't really going to notice it because you paying in peso. You're not really going to notice it except for. I, I mean, it's 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 not as bad as you think. It's just not as it's not as bad as you think. It's so affordable. Like damn near everything is just so affordable down here. Now, if you want to go into the upscale, upscale, upscale restaurants, I don't know the name of that shit, but they got a restaurant that serves $400 bottles of uh, wine and champagne and shit. Now, they got that kind of shit out here, but I'm not into that. I'm not no alcoholic. I don't be drinking that much alcohol. I'm not going to the bar and buying a bottle of alcohol because then that motherfucker going to sit there. And I'd be goddamn if I just buy a bottle of alcohol just to serve some random bitches and then at the end of the night, they, these bitches is drunk. And I I can't speak Spanish, so what the fuck was going to happen? That sounds like date rape to me. That's a recipe for date rape right there. So, man, get your goddamn ass out of my face with that buy bottle of liquor shit. I ain't with that kind of shit, huh? But it's all good, though. Now, I completely forgot what the hell I was talking about. So, um, I made it back. <laughs> I got back in the goddamn Malden, right? And let me tell you, when I got back, I was so fucking happy to be in Medellin. Oh, my goodness, I was so happy to be back in Medellin. I'm not sure if it's Medellin or Medellin, but either way it go, I'm, I live in Laurelis, the Laurelis neighborhood. It's like, let people tell, I think it's like the third, second or third affluent neighborhood in this uh Medellin, Medellin. But I think I'm 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 looking into El Pablo. Um I was gonna go back out there today and walk around and look at some apartments because I done figured out now if you just if if you just walk around and you the apartments they'll have um a phone number on it if it's empty. So all I gotta do is just hit the motherfucker up in WhatsApp and then negotiate through WhatsApp. I don't even need Airbnb to get an apartment no more and save a whole lot of goddamn money. The apartment I'm in now is ain't but about six thirty five a month. You know what I mean? I'm in a two bedroom. In America, this shit is well, minus the fact that it ain't got no goddamn dryer, air conditioner working wi-fi throughout the whole small ass apartment or a goddamn oven um other than that <laughs> this motherfucker is great but the walls are paper thin paper thin when i say paper thin you literally can sit in the middle of your house and hear people conversations down the street while they are in their apartments that's how thin the walls are and these fuckers party until the next night morning. <laughs> All night they playing fucking music and singing and being loud and speeding down the road. It's just noise, 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 noise. It's like, oh my goodness. But it's cheap down here. <laughs> it's very affordable. I was paying $1,300 a month for rent in the house I had. And then I was paying another three fifty, four hundred dollars $400 for electricity. Another like um, $100 for goddamn water and sanitation. Goddamn $50 something dollars for internet. Goddamn. You know what I mean? Renters insurance. This shit. That shit. Everybody talking shit. Like the expenses was phew, it was up there like 25 a month some shit like that for me to live somewhat comfortably and then I got my car repossessed on some sucker shit so I was really assed out paying $40 for a fucking Uber ride 
And when I want groceries, paying 50 to $70 just to get some fucking minor groceries delivered to me from Kroger and stuff, man. I just couldn't afford it. I didn't know how to afford it. I didn't know how to budget. And and I needed to get out of America. So now, same money that I, I was just paying just for the rent, I can, that $1,400 now will cover my rent, all my utilities. It, it, it will allow me to have a budget if I want to go fuck a whore at the spa, a professional whore, not a street walking whore, a whore that ain't got STDs because if she gets your STD, she lose her fucking job and then the business can lose his license and all whatever their politics are down here. So I got like a budget to where if I want to fuck a whore and then there's a there's a place where is it there. I think I need to smoke again. Man, my dick is hard as a motherfucker. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? I ate at McDonald's at airport once while visiting Korea. And it messed me all the way up when they told me how much I had to pay for the food. Well, you got goddamn, you probably got a goddamn five Big Macs, supersized fry. With a M and M McFlurry, with I don't know, I'm just being facetious. But my dick is hard as a motherfucker right now. I don't even know why my dick is hard. Oh, that's why. Shit, I ain't had no goddamn pussy since last week. Sometimes, shit. Fuck. Man, I just can't fuck new random bitches every day, man. That shit is pointless. I mean, yeah, you get a nut, but. There ain't no fucking passion. There ain't no goddamn connection. Now look here, man. If I knew without a shadow of a doubt, I can go to America and fly my ass right the fuck back out with no problems, no issues, I would goddamn come back just to make sure I can go have sex with this one goddamn person. Because that, whoo, holy, oh my goodness. You ever meet a motherfucker that you, when y'all get in there and get what you're doing, what you done, and what you does, and your body's connecting a goddamn way? Oof, let me stop talking about that shit. Man, I want some good pussy. I need me some good loving. Some of that. Goddamn, woman, you done drained the fuck out of me. I don't even feel like moving for the whole day. Some of that, goddamn. Man, this woman, let me tell you, man. Now let me stop talking about that shit. Damn, that nigga harder than a motherfucker. Shit, nigga.